Well, that was different. Tyson Fury arrives in the ring. The crowd give polite applause. And now we will have some boxing and some fighting. Fury against Christian Hammer. Here now is Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the O2 Arena in London as Frank Warren presents the featured bout of the evening brought to you by Queensberry Promotions in association with Fury Promotions and Hennessy Sports. Sponsored by Raynham Steel, Didier Patisserie and Coral, our main event is sanctioned by the World Boxing Organization, President Francisco Valcarcel, Supervisor, former world champion Istvan Koko Kovacs. Along with the British Boxing Board of Control, the steward in charge is Mick Collier. Introducing our three judges scoring this bout from ringside. From Sweden, Michael Hook. From Germany, Frank Michael Maas. And from Birmingham, England, Terry O'Connor. Our referee in charge, he'll be giving instructions after the introductions. From Twickenham in England, Marcus McDonald. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO International Heavyweight Championship. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live on Box Nation from London, England, it's showtime. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red uh, corner, wearing black trunks with multicolored trim, fighting out of Hamburg, Germany by way of Romania. He weighed in at 17 stone, 10 pounds, or 248 US pounds. His record stands at 17 wins, three losses, with 10 wins coming by way of knockout, including 10 straight victories. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome the former German and WBO European champion, tonight making his UK debut and ranked number three WBO world heavyweight contender, introducing Christian Hammer. And his opponent across the ring, the defending champion on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing green trunks with gold trim, Fighting out of and representing of home of Manchester, England. He weighed in at 18 stone, 8 pounds, or 260 US pounds. Undefeated in his campaign in the ring, his record stands at 23 wins, no losses, with 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Ranked in the top five by all boxing organizations, he currently holds the British, European, and WBO International Heavyweight titles. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the WBO number one ranked heavyweight in the world. Introducing the hard hitting, the colorful, and the undefeated Tyson Fury. Once again, a referee in charge. Now to give instructions, Marcus McDonald. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've just been informed by the referee we have an equipment delay, a split glove. We have a short delay before the start of the instructions and the beginning of this bout. Well, I've not seen this before. Before the fights even started, they found a problem with the glove, presumably presumably sustained while working on the pads before coming out before coming out into the ring, yeah. and they're having to change it. It's just that cord, you know, when, when it attaches the thumb to the glove. Otherwise, you could be thumbing people, you know, back in the day, you remember, people used to get thumbed in the eye quite often, and that's, that that's prevents that. So, yeah, it's just showing the, the power, I guess, of Eubank, on, of, um, Eubank. <laughs> I got Eubank on the brain now, of Fury on the pads. A little bit of an anticlimax after the uh, silky, smooth voice of uh, Jimmy Lennon Jr. gives uh, the usual polished introduction to the two fighters. But it's a Tyson Fury fight. You, you always got to expect the unexpected. <laughs> Clifton Mitchell working as uh, 
chief second in that corner, along with Peter Fury. A good heavyweight Clifton, a few years back. Yes. Works in the security business around Derby now. And Tyson Fury, well, he's a, a huge, a huge favourite for this, and rightly so. I thought his performance against Derek Chisora, it, few people wrongly booed it, didn't they? But it was just, he just, fighting Southpaw, he absolutely did a number on him. That sort of measured, cautious performance, which it was in many ways, he could have got there, got there earlier, I felt, to be honest. He, he done everything right, he didn't take any stupid risks, and that's what's going to help him become a world champion. If he makes it, it's because of them sort of performances, not the wild ones we've seen in, in the past. Well, I think we're nearly ready to go. Cornermen are leaving the ring now, the Fury clan. Charge Marcus McDonald now to give instructions. I spoke to you about this, you know what I expect. Act like professor at all times, by my assassin, watch your rates. Any questions? Let's go to work. Uh -uh. A bit of Mickey taking from Tyson Fury. Hammer not wanting to touch clubs, referee insisting they do. Well, the uh, pantomime hostilities are over now. Let's see what the real ones are like. Tyson Fury suggesting that the advertising uh, cone right in front of our commentary position was out of position, quite right. Second our floor manager puts it right, and now we are underway. A boxer, 12 rounder. A boxer and an event organiser, no, Fury. Well, first of all, he's fighting out of an orthodox stance. <laughs> as long as he keeps it long, plenty of movement, plenty of jabs, I don't think he'll have too many problems. But if he starts playing, playing too many silly games and, and draws Hammer into a fight in, in, in this weight division, that, that can always be a dangerous thing. Tyson physically so much the bigger man, stands almost six foot nine. And he made Hammer aware of it the way, didn't he, when he went chest to chest and went on his tiptoes as well, did Fury, just to show the height difference. Has been caught before, though. Fighters have put him down. But what I've always thought about Fury is that he can box, but when the chips are down, my goodness me, there's a real fighting man in there. I think that's, I think that's been, you know, he's, he's won everything, so it's hard to criticise too much, but that's been a bit of his problem. He likes to fight too much, but he's actually a, a better boxer. Well, he, he's been around the gyms before he really settled with Peter Fiore, been with a lot of guys, and virtually everywhere he's been, he's talking and goading to Hammer, but they've talked about his skill. I remember talking to Joe Gallagher about that, he spent some time up in Manchester, and he said, yeah, he's huge and he hits hard, but he is a real boxer. Yeah, he is, I think, he's, I think the, his basis is always his boxing ability. I don't think he's the biggest, but he's obviously an old puncher that way, I don't think he's the biggest puncher in the division. But, but his boxing ability, his movement is tremendous. And he has a reach Lovely. as well, which would give anybody trouble. So often when you're fighting Vladimir Klitschko, you see people dwarfed. And, yes. uh, whether, and it clearly he's not going to be able to do that. It's going to be a whole different set of tactics if, when that fight happens. And someone like Klitschko, not to box the same way as Ridges, but that, that way that he's patient with his work, Klitschko, he don't take any risks until, the, until the, the guy in front of him is tired or frustrated. I think that's what Tyson implemented in his last fight. I think, that, I think that's the key for him to go on to be, be even more successful than he already is. Switch to Southpaw now. And he started confidently. Hammer trying to walk him down, get him into range to land something of note. Not able to find a, a really clean shot so far. Oh, that's a lovely left hand from Fury. Accurate, right on the target. He's counted well off the ropes, and he? The ropes are quite loose, actually. He's leaning back effectively and then coming back with, with single shots and... and doubling up sometimes never going to be a w massive one punch knockout man fury in the manner of say a frank bruno no, but no i don't think he is but you know they can all hit it that way obviously but he hits hard enough to keep you away that's for sure oh look Lovely. at that look at him let the punches go there and he's <laughs> enjoying that and all the talking and stuff as long as he does it out the range it's not a problem but that's that's in his makeup isn't it that's part of it the part of the deal with him I also thought it was a good round there from Fury. Hammer Very good. doing all the pressure, but all of, all of the work, all the punches landed were from Tyson. Well, let's hear from the corner. Here he is with Peter Fury. That's when he stays up. 
Go again. Yeah. Just keep touching him up. Touching him up. Long uppercut. Having a look at him. You see how he's flailing away when he's coming in? Yeah? Nice and relaxed. Now we've got the first round over. We know what he's about. He's trying to walk you down to the corner, trying to land a few shots. Yeah? Punish him on the inside, wrap him up. Yeah? Yep. Keep punishing him with a jab, touching him up. Punish him with a jab, leaning back, moving across. Some nice stuff. Enjoy it in here. This is a journeyman. Yeah. yeah? Just don't get careless and break him down like you're doing. You can't keep taking shots round after round. We'll step it up when we're ready. Almost yeah? empty, maybe. He's enjoying himself, and here's some of the action from that opening round, and you see that he's might be a huge old unit, Tyson Fury, but he's got good footwork, and he, well, when those long arms tie you up, you're certainly tied. The best thing about that, John, to be honest, was they've had to get a pub stool in the corner for Tyson, because he's so tall. Hammer trying to walk him down, trying to get him into range. All fury so far. Better. Yeah, just keep popping him with the jab, peppering him all the time. Sneak those right hands in or left hands, depending on what stance he's boxing out of. And let make the fella commit himself, make silly wrists, jump into punches, and then you got him. Well, he comes in now and does get inside and tries to rough fury up. Heads were not too far away, that right hand missed by several inches. Almost felt the draft here at ringside. <laughs> Referee just, yeah. yeah. He was shouting, come on, come on. Did you see that? He's here. But you got to keep that jab in his face all the time. Good shot. He just throws it, he don't throw that, that backhand straight here, he just throws it slightly up, slightly on a curve. So it's hard, it's hard for Hammer to defend. Fury do it. Good. Doing everything pretty much right so far. But Hammer needs a bit more head movement, but what he did there, Hammer, he took the shot, but he rushed Tyson. So he stunted the power of the shot and then, and then was able to land his own. I think that's a good tactic there for Hammer. Not the most agile or mobile of fighters, but I think he, he could rush in Tyson. Ranked number three by the WBO, Christian Hammer. <laughs> Intentionally standing on the foot there of, of Fury, I think Hammer warned for. Marcus McDonald, cute to it, saw it happening and gave the warning. Brother of Jim McDonald, in case you didn't know. Yes. I know you knew, but I'm talking, <laughs> talking to the wider audience there. Hammer's shots again through thin air. Head getting in close and... Uh, Tyson Fury again talking to the referee. Marcus McDonald saying, well, there's nothing wrong. And suggesting that it's Fury is doing the holding and dragging on. Yeah, well, it probably is a little bit. You know, you know I think Hammers one's going to work, work, the smaller guy's going to want to work in close. Oh, a lovely uppercut there from Fury. And Hammer without the head movement, you can't, even if you can see it, you can't get out of the way of it. Another clear round for Tyson yeah, Fury, I think I'd suggest. So. You just got to be looking careful. You don't get into a silly pattern of, you no, know, of repetitiveness and that. And this, this fight goes 12 rounds of, of this, of, of punch and hold, punch and hold. Yeah. Don't take any. Uh, was it water? Water. Yeah. So basically, just nice and relaxed. Yeah. Let him meet that jab a bit more. Faint. Run the jab in. Yeah, and lean back out. Keep moving him around. Yeah, orthodox and switching up on him. Yeah, move that way, move that way. Lean, don't lean in with a shot. Step in, lean back, and put the jab on. Yeah, can't deal with the height. When he's coming in, punish him, wrap him up. Yeah. Corner ten seconds. Peter Fury has made Tyson a more disciplined and kind of more tactical yeah. fighter yeah. than he was early yeah. in his career. Yeah. He's been the difference for me, and I think he's going to continue to be the difference between Tyson being a world champion or not being a world champion. I think I think he's, he's pivotal. Into the third round. Fury using that reach advantage. 
and are keeping a tight guard. A lot of those punches not getting through. Some of them are, though. Yeah, they are, and fast hands as well. You sort of tend to forget that about Tyson, isn't you? Oh, very fast hands for a big fella. The hammer not bothered by it. You see a little grin on his face. Well, he's going to have a word with both guys here. Sort of the little and large show, isn't it, with uh, Marcus <laughs> and the boys? <laughs> Fury enjoying boxing out of that South Core style again. Convinced that's always a legal punch that he lands with the right hand he jab. Back, he kind of back hands flicks it. with the back yeah. of the hand, doesn't he? Hammer having a bit of success there. I think Fury in control still. Not worried about it too much, but I think he just gives away too much ground, I think, Tyson sometimes. No, I think he wants to lean back, want to take a step back when, when Hammer comes forward. I just think sometimes the steps back are a little bit too wide, the step, steps. Hammer's looking for that one huge right hand. They'll have studied the tapes, of course. They'll have seen that Fury can be tagged. Witness Cunningham and others. Yeah, it's I, happened. He's different now, though, I think. I don't think he's so gung-ho as he used to be, Fury. He used to shorten it, especially with the backhand, Tyson. He used to shorten the, shorten the distance, lean over with it rather than turn from the waist. When you're in touching distance of millions, the uh, old yes. young ho approach maybe gets, uh, oh, yeah. maybe gets a little bit easier to avoid. Yeah. That's better from Hammer. Responded with a solid body shot, Fury. Good yeah. right hand. Little attack there from Hammer. It's been a long time coming, but I think we're welcome for it. Good shot. And again, to the guard there. Well, he's hit four or five times there while he's thinking about unloading Hammer. And then skipped and then tied up. And, sk and then skipped away, first of all. Fury got out of got, got out the, out the trouble. Hammer tried to fire back and nobody was there. If he just shortens it, if he just skips back only half a step, Fury, he can come back after. He makes Hammer miss. Hammer getting into range. Couple of body shots, but again, he's worked stifled. He's getting too close. But he's had a better round, hasn't he, Hammer? Yep. Not, not enough, I don't think, but he's had a much better round. Nice touch of gloves between the two of them. And Fury finishing the round as the aggressor. Have you given him that one? Yes. What you got to do when you need him back, yeah? Just to be sure, yeah? Like I said, use your hands to block, yeah? Watch for the hooks. This round, I want you switching up. Go orthodox, move around. Come on the end of the jab, use your feet. Yeah? His dad, John, released from prison earlier this month. Gypsy John. He can only get, he can only get lucky with a swing. Yeah. yeah? Watch for that. Yeah? Hold a second. Seconds. Well, he heard the tactics. Switch to orthodox, get on your toes, work behind the jab, let's see him do it. They want Hammer to walk on, doesn't he? And it is that, it's that critical mentality for straight, for straight, for straight. Vladimir particularly wonderfully well over the years, how many millions has he made? Yeah, exactly. You know, it's a failure. But the jab is key. That, that, that's for certain. With that sort of style, if you're going to do this, you've got to, you've got to have an effective jab. You've got to be a solid punch. So, we've got to have a guy second guesses. Good feet. They're just when he goes back, he, just, he goes back too fast, too far. The, 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 the,
distance almost from Farnes. Hammer frustrated at the moment. He's not getting into positions. Land big shots. He tried, but it was easily blocked. And then he right swinging through thin air. Missed the distance. I've heard though, Hammer. Hey, anything so far today. No, well, he's not. Uh, Certainly not to take the sort of headshots that Derek Chisora had by this stage no. in the fight. There's a little right hand from Hammer, a bit of a reminder to Fury. That hook, which is which is uh, Uncle Peter was telling him to be wary of. Fury just looks technically a little bit of a, a class above this fellow, though. Yeah, he, and he... he... He's learned now, hasn't he, over the years, how to use that reach, how to use that height to his advantage. Because sometimes being so tall can be a curse because you're a bigger tag in the hit. Christian Hammer was a decent amateur. He was a world junior champion yeah. in 2006 and in those championships. Tyson Fury got a bronze medal. He lost in the semi finals to the guy who uh, Hammer ultimately beat in the final. Good shot there from Fury. He's enjoying himself, Tyson. A smile on his face as he manages to land his shots and then skip away from the attempt at counters. Yeah, he's doing it quite effectively, isn't he, as well, making Hammer miss quite comfortable. Nice shot. uppercut, nice uppercut. He's measuring in more now. He needs to keep picking that jab in his face like he's doing, then he's having everything his own way. Shot out time for me so far. Yeah, me too. There's Christian Hammer. Mike Tyson Fury made his debut back in 2008. And he has gone the 12 round distance. Defeats on his record. Third throw, incidentally, after he lost to David Bryce in a European qualifier for the Olympics in 2008. Switch up and move around different things, yeah? That's all right, we'll just work the jab, punish him. You're winning every round out right anyway. Yeah? Listen, this is eliminating all time, do not take chances. Focus on him, yeah? Now well, those are surely wise words. Yep. You might be enjoying yourself, but don't do anything stupid. Well, look what's next. The, the biggest prize in sport is next. And why would you want to be messing around? Imagine if he just you know, took his eye off, the, eye off the ball and now started messing around, got knocked out. It would just be the worst thing in the world. Talks about a football stadium showdown with Vladimir Klitschko, provided Klitschko comes through his fight against Bryant Jennings, the American, in April, which he surely will do. And then they're talking about a football stadium, maybe in Germany, maybe here in the UK. I'm sure Tyson Fury would dearly love it to be here. Deontay Wilder, of course, another option. Yeah. And didn't he box well? He certainly did. Better than I thought he could. Yes, I mean, too. I think he surprised everybody. Chance of fury going up. A few of the uncommitted, maybe he'd like to see a few more fireworks, but as against Derek Chisora, he's doing enough and he's outboxing this fella. And, and leaning on him as well, he wants to throw his punches, Tyson gets him close and putting all his weight on Hammer. That is a, a mighty, mighty lump of weight as well. Yeah. He is a big, big man. Oh, great shot. Terrific right hand. That is a quality punch. What hurts is what you don't see, and Christian Hammer just didn't see that coming. That's exactly. He looked at this corner, didn't he? just shook his head, so he didn't see it. It was a nice short, short little right hook, wasn't it? Just on the back of the guard. And now Tyson Fury will go looking for him. He's looking to put him away here now. It was a bit of a flash knockdown. I'm not sure how seriously hurt he's been, and with every second here, as he holds on, his head will be clearing. Interesting to see where exactly that punch caught him. Certainly didn't see it, though. No, I think, I think it was a right hook just on the back of the guard, so maybe on the temple. It was the right hand, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Whether it caught him on the temple, I'm not sure, but it was 
And that's the problem with that. You know, we got a good high gap with our little peekaboo defence. With the open gloves, you can sometimes see the punches we're coming. We talked about, well, that's a good, decent shot from Hammer, but we talked about the hand speed, the hand speed of Fury, yep. and that was what actually paid dividends there. Another good left hand from Fury. And the right hand. That was a good, was a good shot, chopping right hand then. Hammer's blowing. Still got a smile on his face. He's taking some yeah. massive shots now. He felt that left hook there. Hammer. You've got to keep these punches long now, Fury. Don't close the gap, don't give the guy opportunity to fire back. Hammer sees it through to the end of a big fifth round for Tyson Fury. Well, we can say that the advice went rather well there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much did, didn't it? Everything's going, towards, everything's going swimmingly well See, for there for Tyson Fury. Taking your chance, taking your time. Oh, oh good shot. That wasn't even a, it wasn't that short, that right hand, was it? Turn from the waist, caught him on the temple. Good little body shot just to start that little combination off. Look at that, right on the top of the head. Didn't see it, John, you're right. It's a terrific shot. Oh, look at that. Speed kills. It really does. He does have fast hands for such a big, such a massive fella. He has lightning speed. Cracking it around there. Enjoy it. Don't load up. Chris shot. <laughs> well, that's a 10 8 round for Fury to add to what we've given him four rounds before. As we move into the sixth, so there's a reminder from Hammer. Swinging left hand, partially blocked by Fury. And Hammer's come out with a bit of intent. See, see Peter Fury every round. Don't load up. You know, he's, he's trying to just keep him calm all the time. Don't go swinging, don't go looking for that, that show real knock at the finish. Just patient, patient, patient. Well, look how well it was. It was Emmanuel Stewart, really, who sorted Vladimir Klitschko yeah. out, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, he really tightened was, up his yeah. defence, got him jabbing better, got it, and, and the rest is history. And it served him so well. If Fury somehow can find a way to do the same, then fortunes can come his way. In, the, in this era of massive heavyweight, it was, it's a template, isn't it, a hold to be successful? That's for sure. Anthony Joshua out there somewhere as well, I'm sure, watching and thinking, well, my time will come as well. Yep. He's, tick, he's ticking all the boxes at the moment. Is Anthony Joshua? Doesn't need to rush. He's got time. He's only a baby. Oh, good body shot there for Fiona. The first. work what good quality punches those were fighting in yeah. reverse there's not a lot of heavyweights who can do that up close in reverse as well John. yeah boxing tremendously well as you said his boxing skills are almost unrivaled at some some stages what's german for please don't stick the nut on <laughs> use of the head quite clearly Defensive work again from Fury, getting that glove up to partially block that attempted left hook. Second warning. It's hard to see where Hammer gets any success from, isn't it? Except for, for Fury making a mistake. Yeah, he's going to he's going to yeah. have to get careless and get yeah. caught in the. You can't you can't see a way he's going to win the fight otherwise. He needs to dip his legs and get low and and. and you know, loads of lateral movement, loads of head movement, rolling forward, but you know, that's not his start, he's not going to be, be able to do that. He's had wins against Kevin Johnson, Leif Larsen, Constantine Eric, these are good, good yeah. European fighters, had a win against a, an old Danny Williams as well. Tyson Fury, different kind of level, I think. That's nice. Yes. Yes. One third off through that right hand there. No. Hammer. Landed on the chest ultimately, I think, didn't it? Good off the ropes there, though, again from Fury. Tying his man up, turning him. Well, Hammer had a couple of punches which found the target, but they were no. isolated moments yeah, of encouragement, so. weren't they? Yeah, they are. 
He's, 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 he's having little snippets of success, but nothing enough to, to warrant him any, any, any part of the run. He's running for by. It's okay. That's the spectrum. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Good one, DJ. And it's okay. And it's deep in the sea. Our German's not great, but uh, I think there's a bit of psychology going on in there. They're trying to just tell him that things are not that bad. Well, Cody's just, he's, he's a short, he's a short fan for the heavyweights, but he's, he's too upright. You've got to be dipping, dipping and jumping in with the hooks, I think. He's dipping low and coming back with the left hook. So dipping with the left shoulder, come back with the right hand, and he just doesn't have that lateral movement to do that. He's still dangerous. Yeah. There's been a few great he's heavyweights been scoring with Christian Hammer. But he's shot. Oh, of course. He's hitting clean, Chris shots, he goes, don't load up. So you've got to have that, that, that lateral movement, that upper body movement if you're a short guy. Yeah, rolling in. Yeah, you've got to a have that. A la Tyson Holyfield. Yeah, if Fraser and all them, you know, yeah. they, you know, all, yeah. all the guys were, were so hard to hit clean, they were, never, they were always a moving target. Fury back into the southpaw stance. And we're into the second half of the fight. Loving body shots. I'm sure Tyson Fury would like a stoppage just to send a, a little bit of a message to potential opponents. Just in a little clinch there, though, it, 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 it didn't really have noticed it, but as Tyson was turning, he was constantly turning his opponent, so then he, he got tangled up. Hammer, he didn't know where, where Tyson was. And that's, it's a good little tactic, you always keep turning your opponent when you're being close. Lovely. One, yeah. two, spinning off the ropes. And a hint of a smile on the face of Tyson Fury. Listen, listen, John, there's a lot of holding and grabbing. This is modern heavyweight boxing, this is how it is. But, but some of the work from Tyson is quite good, you know, they're quite impressive. Fast hands, lovely variety. And if he had that one punch power. If he had that one big knockout punch. Yeah, well, he can knock you out, though, we've seen it. But yeah, yeah, that, you know, that real raw power. That Norton sort of power. Then, you know, I still think he's a handful. I've always rated Tyson Fury, and he's done no, nothing, nothing here to dissuade that opinion. That's a nice, quick, snapping right hand there. See, I always, I got to be honest, I always thought that the fact that he never he used to make too many, take too many chances, I never thought he'd make it. Honestly, that's what I thought about. Talented, but takes too many risks. But, well, but lately, in the last 18 months or so, I think it was just... Stand up, Peter I know, Fury, I know, that's, I know, been his, I know, that's been his. I know we haven't boxed a lot of the David Hay stuff, but the, the last fight especially, he's just really, really been disciplined, and I know you can see that, he, that he's good enough to fight the real world title. The David Hay stuff, of course, for those who don't know. A couple of uh, proposed big money showdowns with the haymaker. He was ready for them, and David, for whatever reason, didn't get to the fight, and so it never happened. Tyson Fury reckoned it cost him five million or more. It did, it did, but I think in the long run he gained because he was in the gym learning. Peter was teaching him stuff. He was getting more mature. He's had good sparring as well, hasn't he, with Eddie Chambers? Good work here. You don't remember, he was 22, 23, wasn't he? You know, now he's 26. Physically a mature, a mature man. Well, mentally more than anything, I think. I mean, that's the most important part. Another clear round for Fury. Yeah, it's getting very much the same issue, isn't it? The same thing. I was, I was worried about getting get falling into a pattern of being too much yeah. similar Buying punch, punch and hold. Just keep stepping back from him, yeah? When he holds, put your back foot out and move around him. Twist him around and you'll bang him easier. Yeah? <laughs> How do you feel? I'm all right. Deep breath. You're getting your shots Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath again. OK? That's it. Well, here's some of the action from that seventh round. How am I trying to put... Lovely. Pressure on him, but they talk, keep talking about the footwork and the way he spun in there. Beautiful, tremendous, isn't it? It really is. It's natural, that is as well. That's something that he don't, he's not even thinking about that. That's just something that he, he, that he does. That's just a natural talent. Just beautiful work. 
It's all been Tyson Fury so far. <laughs> Lovely combination of the start off the round. Just keep it long. And Peter's on about taking a little step back with the back foot, which is perfect. Just drag the front foot, don't take too much, don't go too far back with the front foot because then you're out of, out of reach to, to attack. Sit on the back foot, drag that back foot back, let him fall short, then you can spring back into attack then. And just be moving a little bit too far back with Tyson and giving away too much ground. In a fight that he's still dominating, of course. Fury has been forced to go the distance on six occasions prior to this. And Hammer, well, he's been down in that fifth round, but he seems to have recovered pretty well. Didn't miss by a lot. No. Seems to have gained a bit of confidence, actually, Hammer. So it's been a round or two since Fury's really hurt him. Yeah. But again, I keep on keep saying the same thing, but just the lack of head movement from Hammer means that he's, you know, without, without having a lucky pot shot, he's, he's never going to get a look in. Well, if it's going to come, it's going to be an overhand right, I think, like yeah. that one which he... Close your eyes, haymaker. Yeah. The Oliver McCall shot against Lennox. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Rackman against Lennox. Oh, no, actually, that was a quality shot, wasn't it? Again, the hand speed, just a little injection of pace all of a sudden. Nice uppercut. <laughs> Well, that certainly discouraged Christian Hammer a little. That was good there from Tyson. A little faint, sat on the back foot there, just waiting for a little bit. Making Finish Hammer commit himself. Finished it all off with that right yeah, up again. Right, yeah, the punch is working all at once. Animated advice. You perhaps oh, hear across our microphones from the German corner. Lovely shot there. Lovely left hand there from Tyson. Hammer went the throw his right down. Tyson got it first. As he has done repeatedly. Yeah, it's all one way traffic, isn't it? A little bit of a mismatch. <laughs> or at least Fury's made it look that way. Yeah, he has, yeah. He's what always a massive favourite. We've been a you really huge shock easy. to get beat, yeah, but what I mean by easy, I mean very easy. You're just trying to make a fight of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you say. Oh, they've thrown the towel in. I think they've thrown the towel in. I think they've pulled him out. Fight's all over. Christian Hammer's been retired by his corner. And Tyson Fury, who's won pretty much every minute yeah. of every round, every exchange, has proved himself a superior man. The crowd don't like it very much, they'd have liked to have seen Hammer give a little bit more, but quite frankly, he was not remotely in the fight. Well, the problem is, this has just followed that saunders Judenov fight, where Judenov just went out on his shield, literally. When, so, you know, Hammer, I think, I think he might be saying he hurt his hand as well, but he was taking absolute battering. You know, he, never, you know, he had no chance of winning the fight, he got to round eight and he's miles behind. Yeah, and let's not forget, he'd been boom, down boom, in the fifth boom, round, boom, he was, he was kind of taunting him, wasn't he? He was just showing himself repeatedly the master in every facet. Yeah, and whether whether Tyson would have stopped him or not, again, he dominated another guy who was below his level. Not a lot, not a much below his level in the ratings, but below enough for him to shoot that he should have been comfortable. But he totally dominated everything, every second of every round, pretty much. So, you know, I think he's, he's ready now, he's ready for that shot. Whether he's good enough to beat Klitschko is another thing. But he's ready, he's earned the right to have a go. Well, that fight could happen in September. He's moved a step closer here. He's gone across the final hurdle. And again, it was boxing skills rather than brute power. It was boxing skills, same as against Derek Chisora.
some of his footwork, John, is tremendous. The way he spins an opponent, even when they're in close and they're hustling and, and leaning on each other, he's always turning you. Little subtle things that you wouldn't even notice. And Hammer sometimes was getting tangled up in, in his own body sometimes. And I think that, that them little things there are little tricks that you don't know much about. Right, we already know the results. The fighters have already congratulated each other. Tyson Fury is the winner, but it's always good to hear it. Here's Jimmy. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has been stopped at the end of round number eight. A referee in charge, Marcus McDonald, recognizes the request of the corner and stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout, still undefeated, and still the WBO International Heavyweight Champion, Tyson Fury. Win number 24 of the undefeated career. And Tyson Fury moves a step closer to the world heavyweight title shot. That could be next.